Welcome everyone, Team 7 on another adventure, well, as you can see again, not really the team, just me, um, homework, everyone's got homework, <laughs> except for me, so I'm out here running around, sort of on a, on a little mission, um, the carnival introduced the uh, Choose Fund promotion, they have an airship flying around, it is supposed to be in Central Florida, this weekend, so I'm out on a mission to see if I can find it. Um, it wasn't really detailed. I couldn't find anything really detailed that'll say uh, where it would be in any times. Um, that could have just been me and my my poor sense of uh, putzing around on the internet. So um, I'm not the uh, Google everything kind of person. So my Scooby Doo like investigation skills um, just got me September 22nd I'll be in Central Florida so um, we're on a mission to find it okay so we're gonna head to uh, the International Drive area International Drive uh, Universal Orlando area of course uh, Fun Spot America does have a St. Jude's run going on and I know this whole promotion was to uh, promote the St. Jude's Foundation Carnival and St. Jude's, St. Jude's, excuse me, um, work together. In fact, I believe uh, Carnival's the number one contributor. I believe, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I could, I could be, uh, I could be mistaken, but uh, I believe Carnival does raise the most money. Every cruise we've been on since uh, 2012, it's been groove for St. Jude's on every ship. So. Uh, of course, we participated. I got a lot of Rufus St. Jude t-shirts. In fact, I should have I should have wore one today. But the search continues. So far, I don't see anything. But we're going to keep looking. We're going to keep looking. All right, here's the fun spot area. Um, I don't see anything. We'll get out and take a look here in, in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are now at Fun Spot America on uh, International Drive. Said so this morning they had uh, St. Jude's walk and run. Might be a little too late. Might be uh, might be late. Might have been here this morning. Let's watch roller coaster go. There's only two people on that thing. Great time to come to Fun Spot. But, uh, yeah, I don't see nothing. I don't see absolutely nothing. A lot of clouds. Typical Florida weather. A lot of clouds. We had a helicopter tour. I don't see nothing in this area. I don't see it anywhere. I don't know if it's uh, headed out to the Port Canaveral or what, but uh, I have one more place I want to check. And then, uh, who knows? I might just take a drive out to the port. Let's see how that all works out. So we're on our way down I-4. See if we can find this blimp somewhere. Um, I don't know much, but what I do know is I do know where it had to have taking off from so and there's only really two places here in central florida where airships and blimps and stuff take off from and it all depends on where they're headed and how they get in there because we all know airships don't travel in the air 100 percent of the time they fly around they do their little promotional thing and then they they land get packed up stuffed in the truck and on to the next city so since this airship is going to be at Port Canaveral or the Central Florida area, you know, the Orlando, Orange County area, there's only one place it could have taken off from. So I'm going to go head out that way and see if uh, we can see it out there. Once again, um, I'm not completely 
opposed to driving out to Port Canaveral today. I have nothing to do. Driving through the city, beautiful. Looking for a blimp. Or shall I say, an airship. This guy drove all the way from New York in that Corvette. Man, that had to suck. Okay, so here I am, outside the gate of Orlando Executive Airport. I don't see anything that resembles any ground crew equipment, anything for uh, for an airship. Now, this is usually where airships take off from when they have to be in the downtown Orlando area. And if they have to be in the Disney area, they take off from Kissimmee. But uh, I doubt we would take off from Kissimmee and be up here. Okay, search continues. I'm still looking, unsuccessful so far at this point, but uh, um, let's see. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't know if I'm going to head towards the port or what, but uh, the wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. If this was smell-o-vision, you'd be able to smell all that rubber, all that rubber burning. It's really, really not a pleasant smell. Oh yeah, that's the way you do it, buddy. Let's come all the way across right in front of me. That's how you do it. Anyway, whenever you're coming down 528 and headed towards the port, this is always the bridge where you get to the top, you get your first look at the ships. So too, if it's not too cloudy, if you look off over that distance, you can see the vehicle assembly building at NASA. Only, oh, there it goes, right there. You can see it right down there, oh, right down there in the distance. You can see the vehicle assembly building. And also, when you get up here, you can see the Disney ship. Right through the trees, you can see the two smokestacks. Here we are in Port Canaveral. And uh, I don't see no airship. <laughs> oh, man. I got all the way here and thinking, man, could they have canceled it due to the weather? And that is, a, that is a possibility. Okay, so here we are, Port Canaveral. Um, right back there. Look in the background. You have the magic and the wonder back there. Um, last couple of weeks for the magic. Magic will be uh, will be replaced by the Carnival Breeze. So um, we'll have the Carnival Breeze home porting here in Port Canaveral. So I'm gonna look in this uh, exploration tower over here. Okay. So bad news. I've been informed by the people inside the uh, the tower back there, which looks like the uh, Looks like the hotel in Dubai, um, but I, I'm I'm sure they get that a lot. But uh, they just informed me that the uh, the airship was floating around here about twelve one. So uh, needless to say, came up short again. Womp 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 womp. But anyway, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, sometimes you are. You are the bug and sometimes you are the windshield. So this time, I'm the bug. Next time, who knows? But uh, that's not gonna stop me from these crazy adventures. <laughs> okay, and uh, you already know how it goes. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, until the next adventure, choose fun. <laughs>